I just watched She Loves Me for the second time, the Broadway 2016 revival, and I have some things to say. It's just about the joy of watching a movie that isn't a movie. It's a musical but on my computer. So the first time that I watched it, I don't think I knew 30 Rock. Now, I knew Jane... Jane <laughs> I'm wearing false glasses. Don't expect speech from me. <sighs> Jane Krakowski. I knew her from Ally McBeal and various theater things. Specifically, Company, I believe. I just love her. Her dance ability, seeing her get dragged across the stage in a full split. I can't, I don't even, I don't have anything to say. Her voice is so distinctive also. I forget how distinctive it is when she's talking because you get used to it. But when she's singing, it's still there. I forget how many good songs are in the show. We have like Vanilla Ice Cream that's in every Sopranos audition book, it feels like. Because it's comedic. And the the one that every like guy ends up singing it not tonight at eight but i want to see that in someone's audition the she loves me i mean it's the name of the show i don't know his name an actual song with two female roles and i think it's an alto and soprano yeah yeah which is nice because it's not just two sopranos in the stratosphere also this time i noticed where i recognize i forget the name of his character Tom McGowan, Tom McGowan, who was in Frasier as Kenny, the station manager. And I knew I recognized him from somewhere the first time I saw it's it. It's 23 I hours. Thanks, I guess. And Arpad, such a delightful little toss of fresh comedy, youthful glow. Gavin Creel's voice. I can't believe how often I forget how amazing his voice is. Like, I still know his voice is amazing, but like, I, well, it, I originally believe I knew him from Thoroughly Modern Millie, but I don't know for sure. I could have, I, he just transcends anything that I know him from because his voice is so amazing. Zachary Levi performed at my local community theater long before I was there. Like, I was probably like a little kid, but he signed the wall in like Romeo and Juliet or something. I wish I could show you a picture of it because I know it's in the background of a bunch of my theater pictures, but my phone hates me. I even had a good idea to like show you pictures of the moments that I was talking about, but I'm not going to edit that in. I don't have time or computer storage for that, but my phone keeps doing this little lovely number. So here we are. You're just going to have to believe me. Zachary Levi signed the wall of my local performing arts theater, performing arts theater, performing arts center, arts, I don't even know. I miss music theater. The set, the way that like Broadway shows just like animatronically open up, I mean mechanically, mechanically, it's not, it's not a person. Ah! And the stained glass, it, like I doubt it's actual stained glass because if it's going to be that like heavy and safety and it's a little bit like frosted, but on the, the opening, you, like not awning, above the awning, I don't even know how to, it's just so good. There's a bicycle on stage at one point. You see her eat ice cream from a what we know is a Chinese um, takeout box of foldable paper ones, but that's just how ice cream needs to be packaged. Where's my other shoe? I want to do that song. That's the song that I need in my life. God, I miss theater. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know if I mentioned, but I have access to watching this because one of the classes that I'm taking gives me access to Digital Theater Plus, and so I will be watching every single thing on there before that class is over, and I lose access even if... I don't have time to do my math and work it out. It's due, like, it's due the end of the night tomorrow, so it's not the end of the world. But I should be doing it now, and that was my original plan. But then I put makeup on and did my acting homework. And here we are. It's such a good show. The the end harmony on, I don't know his name, and the gramophone might be my favorite part in the whole show. Just the little details and the choreography, and I can't even I miss musical theater. This is such a good show to like pick songs from too, because it's is it? It's not a contemporary show. I don't believe it. It's a contemporary show, but it actually has like comedic value. I'm not saying that golden oldies don't have comedic value, but often it's it's a little bit more difficult to play, and it's just like right there on the page. You don't you you don't have you just it's there. You can you I miss. But it has lots of good, song, good songs for different people's audition books and for different vocal ranges. And 
age ranges and though I kind of wish it had more female characters, I well, more female roles, because we can have a female ensemble. Like two women versus like five. Good show. Zach and Levi's funny. Like I know he's funny, but the theatrical comedy that's like physical and timed right and it just involves multiple people. It's not it's not I I wouldn't say it veers into slapstick for the most part. But there's also like physical gag where you like knock stuff over and I wonder if that was um it was probably staged. And there's a there's 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 props and there's I just really miss theater. The ensemble members also on time for everything, like the choreography, it's, it's so clean. Though one of the one of the chorus women, that's what I'm gonna call her, her wig was a little bit like the lace you could you could see if it had lifted. But you know they can't glue their wigs because like they've gotta change them. And you wouldn't notice that. Six feet rule, but the camera was just getting everything. You could see things in its theater, and so there's mistakes, and there's like the only moments. Laura Benanti sticks her tongue out. The comedy. I think the first time I watched it, I was like, why would the character do that? But now I was like, I get it. I feel it. That's her taking, she takes everything out of her purse and just is just, just looking for something, and then it's in her shirt. <laughs> yes. I needed theater in my life. This isn't even, this is just gushing about how much I like theater. This isn't even a review. Like, we know it's good. It's Broadway. I mean, there have been shows that did not meet the standards, but I would say this meets the standards. And I miss it. She loves me. You should pay to watch some online theater. I've seen blue lights. I, I don't know why I'm talking. This isn't this isn't about that whole I just watched She Loves Me for the second time. The 2016 Broadway revival that they recorded. <laughs> And the first time I watched it was probably in 2016, but right now I'm missing musical theater. And I have a class that I'm taking that has given me access to Digital Theater Plus, so what if I'm gonna be binge watching every single theater production that's on there? As this is the second time that I've watched it, maybe even more. I feel like it's possible I've seen it more times. It's such a stylized show. It doesn't feel like a period piece though, which is another reason that I like it. God, I miss Broadway. I should put a counter for how many times I say that, but I'm not going to, because I don't want to edit this. Where's my shoe? That's a duet that I would love to have in my life. I don't really know what the point of this was, because I'm not actually talking about the show. I'm just sighing deeply. But I'd rather watch more musical theater than do math homework. That's what this is. That's what this. I'm wearing false lashes because I had to do an, uh, an acting assignment in full makeup, whatever that means to us, and have a piece of blueberry on my lip. The costumes, the costumes, the sets, the lighting, just the whole cohesiveness, the in time choreography, even when it's not that detailed, it just happens right on cue. God. I can't even get into specifics because it just makes sense. Well, I miss musical theater. That's what we've learned. This isn't even a. It, we're, 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 